Hello, welcome back to Zebra Force. Today, today, today is actually kind of a warm day here in Denver, Colorado, January 28th. But uh, I was going through my project files and I saw this, uh, this one called When It's Cold Outside, I Need an Extra Layer. And I'm working on this EP for February. And I decided, you know what? February is going to be cold. I'm going to have some of my first few um, freezing, freezing cold days that I've ever experienced, being that I am new to living uh, somewhere where it snows. So I figured, you know, what day, uh, or excuse me, what month better than February to, uh, to get this song finished i've actually had this one in the pocket for like three to four years i believe i started this one shortly after i finished welcome to the groove which was my first album release in january of 2020 so somewhere within the last four years this one got lost and uh it made it into my finish in 2024 folder so let's get into this Let's see what, what it needs, where I can take it from where it was left all those years ago. One, two, three. Okay, so right off the bat, this intro is pretty solid musically. Maybe there's something in there that I can change. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple return channels here for uh, reverbs. Add in my favorite little buddy, Verb Suite Classics. Gotta love a Verb Suite Classics. Let's go and uh, find a little bit of a preset you know i've never tried any of the string presets but honestly that's what i feel um these uh strings need is a little bit of reverb so i'm going to start here maybe i'll even change this to a strings verb and uh, they've got like no lower mids so i'm going to bring those out this was created at a time where I was much less experienced at mixing. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty confident that I didn't even know about sends and returns and all that. That's a lot closer to what I wanted. I wanted a, like a, a nice warm uh, reverb. I'm just going to change a few things here and make it a little bit wider, turn down the decay. Um, maybe turn the pre-delay up a, a smidgen as well. Let's see what this is like with both the dry and wet. Little bit too much there. Maybe the pre-delay was, was too much. Yeah, I think that's great. I'm going to turn the decay down a little bit more. Let's hear it in context. Yeah, it's a it's a little bit warmer, right? A little bit more cozy. Uh, I'm going to do a small bit of side chaining to the kick on this bass. I need to send the kick out of. Oh, look at that! It's already been done. I'm going to try not to edit too much of what has already been done because, in general, I like the way this song sounds. Um, I like where the drums are at it just needs a little bit of mix help it needs a little bit of structure towards the end and it needs a couple more parts it's only like a minute and a half long two minutes something like that so i need to finish the second half of the song but also um give it the the mix touches and all that i don't want to go too deep into mixing it right now um, I'm just going for whatever comes to mind immediately, right off the bat. 
Okay, so side chain to kick. Right here in this intro, I love how small it is, this little doop, doop. I think that's a beautiful intro. This could use like some sort of a spatial effect to add interest like a reverb or something just to turn it on like uh in that section and then uh, when those drums fully come in we could shut it off let's try something like that Whoa. and uh when these drums do come in i kind of want to cut out this uh it's called top one i'm assuming that's just because it's it's all top uh like hi-hats and stuff yeah, it's the same throughout the whole song. So I take it I just didn't want to use the hi-hats off of the real kit. Or I think I, I might bring them in later in the song. Delete this automation, though. I'm going to put it in a group and then automate the group so that I can do some other stuff without doing a more, even more automation. Um, this reverb, I'll make 100% wet, create a clean channel that just goes all the way through. Uh, turn the reverb down, and then I'm going to do something else. Let's try a delay, huh? Grain delay, maybe? That would be weird. One, two, three. Yeah. That's perfect. It just changes it for that one section, gives it something to do. Okay, let's move on to this verse. Okay, these vocals were recorded prior to me having a couple years of really practicing how to sing, but I kind of like the auto-tune effect. My goal here with this track is to finish it, not re-record anything. I'm not looking to re-make this song, and I kind of want to just capture what was there and not erase anything. So I'm going to I'm going to fly with it until maybe like a week from now when I open this up and I'm like, oh, my God, this sounds terrible. But for now, I'm going to fly with it. I think the mix for this sounds great for this section. I mean, it looks like I did everything pretty good. I love that little guitar run right there. And I like that it's the only time the guitar is in this section it introduces it for this next section let's move on to this this next couple phrase right here I think the guitar moves nice and good through this section. I can't think of anything that really needs to change here. Maybe doubling up this bass line with another instrument, that could happen. Let's move on. I love this break section I have here. I love that the orchestra comes back in. That's all fine and good. Uh, I think this transition could be a little bit cooler. I'm going to start off with um, more I, sort of isolating this drum fill. Like the bass could follow it or the bass could drop out there. I don't like the way that sounds and I don't really want to get... I don't want to cut out the guitar right there because I like the way it leads into this next section. So I'm going to see if I can change this bass around. Yeah, that's already better. Just to like signify it's moving somewhere uh, in the bass line and like kind of matches that the drums are changing, the bass should change, the, whole, the rhythm section got to go together. You know, not anything else too apparent to me in this chorus, the pre-chorus, maybe. 
I might I might double this um, this bass sound. I'm actually going to um, co color that, uh, change the color of that, so I don't forget. Let's move on. Take it all, do a flip, and turn around again. Okay, I love this this section with the the upbeat guitar i think the guitar could use some work though bring it out a little bit more it's kind of in the whoa what was i thinking with these eqs oh my goodness yeah no we we were kind of uh still learning how to compress things back then so i like this delay thing we got making it nice and wide <laughs> I don't know if it needs it. Uh, I'm gonna try a different widening plugin. I think I like that a little bit more. I think I know what I was trying to do with those wild EQ curves and um, I'm just going to do it here instead. I, it does need a little bit of treble. I was on the right path. This reverb is a little bit much for me. I like that that reverb has like its own color to it um, as opposed to doing more of a just like a stock reverb like just to throw space in it. I think this has a good texture. Moving on. That sounds good to me. Take it all, do a flip and turn around again. Okay, this verse needs help. I don't like this chorus effect. I don't I I think it needs to be way more front and center. Take it all, do a flip and turn around again. That's already better without that. Take it all, do a flip and turn around again. Make it all right, but steer it back to the left again. I like it. Um, the chorus was all that was really wrong with that. I think the volume is probably good. I'm listening in headphones right now because I'm doing this whole recording thing with the video and all that, and I, I just listening in, in proper monitors isn't a possibility while I'm doing a video, but I'll come back to it and, and mix it, do the final mix touches on my own. I like the this, uh, I know you'll pick up, but I think I can do something a little bit fun with it, like um, it, uh, just delay it, do a little filtered delay. That's probably fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. I like this um this thing right here, this growl is what I'm calling it, I guess. It's super gritty, it's way turned down. And I think I can sort of see what I was going for, but I think it could be turned up a little bit. Get rid of this EQ curve. There's a sidechain compressor here doing nothing. There's this um, delay plugin again from Kilohertz. Let's see what the difference is with and without that. Okay, that's fine. That can stay. It was clear that I did not want low end on here, and I, I don't know what I was really thinking. Uh, oh, I was making the bass mono interesting because I didn't know what this was, I'm guessing. Um, I'm going to just redo some of this processing. I don't need that EQ curve. Uh, what's this OTT doing? It's doing absolutely nothing. That looks like it's broken. So I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> And then we're back to uh, wherever we were. We got a little bit of an LFO going. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. That that that's fine with me. 
Side chain to the kick. Okay, good, good. We were on the right track here, I, I do believe. Um, so I'm going to see what frequencies are competing with these two bass sounds. And then I'll, because this bass is more of like a stabby, um, you know, it's it's moving, and this one is long, drawn-out notes. I'm going, excuse me, I'm going to sidechain whatever frequencies are competing <clears throat> and uh, duck this growl bass underneath these stabs. Okay, so I've got C6 um, sidechain pulled up on this growl. Let's do an external, set the side chain to base. And let's just take this whole like under 250 region, drop it by however much I need to drop it. And I like what's going on in the top end of this growl, so I might actually accentuate that. Let's try this. That sounds good to me, for now, at least. Um, again, I'll do the, the final mix in real monitors and all that, but as far as just getting the sounds to work with each other, I'm gonna leave it there. I want this to be uh, a much more wide signal. Um, I'm going to do what I was trying to do previously, years ago. I'm going to do this mo bass mono. Dress like the Send everything under 200 hertz to mono. And then, um, before that, let's do some some width stuff uh I, i'll just move this over because i think this plugin will be fine to use dress like this anyway. let's listen dress like this anyway go off now still a little buried in there turn it up a little bit maybe dress like this anyway go off now I'm also going to try uh, and see what it sounds like if I raise this whole line up an octave. Now. Yeah. And if I'm going to do that, then I'll, I'll slightly back off on the, the ducking here. Now. I definitely like that more raised up an octave. Um, I'm probably just going to do that across the board 